Not many people are going to forget last summer 7.1 and 6.4 earthquakes in Ridgecrest. There have been more than 100,000 aftershocks since then. And now a major fault line capable of producing a magnitude 8 earthquake has actually started moving for the first time on record. CBS 2's Rachel Kim is live for us at Caltech in Pasadena to offer an explanation. Rachel. Well, Jeff, the study's author here at Caltech says this study should remind us that large damaging earthquakes can happen not only along the San Andreas Fault, but along other faults, big and small. When the rich crest earthquakes rocked Southern California this past summer, a fault capable of producing an 8.0 magnitude earthquake began sliding. That's according to a just published study by Caltech and NASA. It is significant uh, because we hadn't seen this kind of activity occurring on the Garlock before. Dr. Zachary Ross is an assistant professor of geophysics at Caltech and the lead author of the study. He said soon after the Ridge Crest sequence, radar satellites picked up unprecedented movement on the 160 mile Garlock Fault. Dr. Ross believes the quakes and the movement on the fault are connected. These brown lines here indicate uh, what we call the surface rupture of. Uh, the Ridgecrest main shocks. So the Ridgecrest earthquake, the magnitude 7.1, basically ended uh, only a few miles away from uh, this Garlock Fault right here. Dr. Ross says it's yet to be determined how the movement or the creep on the Garlock Fault could affect the possibility of future quakes. But he says since we live in earthquake country, we should remember there's a potential for large quakes, not just along one long fault like the San Andreas, but also from a collection of smaller faults like we saw with the Ridgecrest sequence. That was created by more than 20 faults. And so you can kind of think of this as um, one fault triggering another like dominoes. That really shows us that, um, you know, even if there's not a really large fault somewhere that you can still have significant seismic hazard, which is um, increasingly consistent with uh, what we've been observing over the last several decades. As for the movement on the Garlock Fault, Dr. Ross says he doesn't know what to make of it at this point, but it warrants more observation by scientists and government agencies. Reporting live tonight in Pasadena, Rachel Kim, CBS2 News.